Hello, hello. Hi. I can see another life here. <laughs> it's not the same. Hi. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. My name is Melanie and I will be hosting uh, the presentation today. Hi, how are you? We will start in five minutes. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. Thank you for joining. Okay. Hi. Hi. Comment on me. Hi. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. We will start. Hello, hello, EG from YouTube. Hi. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. We will start very soon. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Hi. What is the time in your country? Where are you from, by the way? Write in the comment where are you from. Hi. Hi. Hello. We will start in five minutes. I hope that everyone is uh, hearing me well. Just let me know if there is any problem with uh, the sound of hello, everything. Comment on Facebook and then I don't know. My no presentation, they want to know. Can I don't want Hi, everyone. Hello. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining. Where are you from? What is the weather <laughs> here in Japan? This is very, how do you say, jime jime in Japanese. This is like very humid. Maryland, USA. Wow, 11. Thank you very much. This is <laughs> like very late. Thank you for joining us, Christopher. From YouTube. Yes. Hello, everyone. Good morning or good evening if you are uh, so in uh, the US. From Thailand. Hi, from Thailand. <laughs> Mexico, hola. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Arigato gozaimasu. Hi, we will be live in two minutes, I think. So cool. Konnichiwa, konnichiwa, Bob-san. <laughs> konnichiwa. Yes. Thank you for joining today. We will uh, start very soon. So uh, yes, India, 8, 8 a.m. Okay, good morning. <laughs> good morning from India then. Konnichiwa. Barato. Sugoi. <laughs> Sugoi. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you very much for joining us today. Yes. Perfect. We'll be live in, yes, in a few uh, minutes. Uh, if you have comments during the live, please comment on uh, below in the chat room and we will gather all uh, the uh, comments and we will reply to them at the end on the Q&A session. So please send your question. Then, if uh, you are interested in to learn uh, Japanese, to start your journey of learning Japanese, we will send a uh, free content to those who will file um, a form, um, just like a survey about uh, this presentation today. So thank you. Uh, thank you. Konnichiwa. Hi. Hi. <laughs> thank you, everyone. OK, we will start soon. Sure. Perfect. I hope that every everyone is joining well you uh, heard you can hear me well too please comment on the on the on the comment station on the chat if you can hear me okay then let's start let's start the presentation perfect so thank you uh, everybody for joining us today uh, the live on study and life in japan hosted by the chinjuku japanese language institute my name is Melanie and I am glad to uh, do this presentation with you today. I am French and I'm working in Japan at the admission center. So I will help you with your admission and application to go to come in Japan and study with us. And yes, I've been living in Japan for five years now. So if you have any question, please just 
tell us on the comment. Let's start. So, the content of this webinar will be as uh, written just behind me. We will see at first why Japan, why students want to come to Japan, then a little bit more about the school, how touching, uh, te teaching, I'm sorry, teaching method, the course structure, and then for those who want to go on higher education, we will speak a little bit with that. Uh, the extra activities we are offering you when you will be uh, at SNG, how you can apply just here, how you can apply to come to Japan and get your student visa. Then a little bit about accommodation. And then I think most of you will be interesting by uh, knowing how is the situation right now in Japan with the COVID. Perfect. So yes, let's uh, dive in. Why Japan? Why do you guys want to come to Japan and study Japanese? So. I think like you can comment uh, what is uh, the main reason why you want to learn Japanese and come to Japan to learn Japanese. But sure, uh, this uh, when we ask students what is the reason why they choose Japan uh, for their studies, most of them will reply the nature, the festival and uh, how the landscape are beautiful. Some of you may know about the spring season, which is like a very beautiful landscape with the pink everywhere, but some of you will maybe more be fond of, of the summer season, which is very, uh, how do you say, enjoy with a lot of uh, matsuri. Do you know matsuri? Maybe you already had some matsuri in Japan when you came before, but th there is a lot of festivity, the uh, plenty of uh, food. So <laughs> the food is very um, well, appreciated in Japan. Maybe you like some too. There is like uh, ramen, I think, sushis. You can see just behind me like tempura and wagashi, koko. <laughs> there is also wagashi. Uh, some of you will maybe more fond of tradition. Tradition like geisha, the no and kabuki theaters, ikioe or ikebana over there. So yeah, there is main reason will be the nature, the landscape, the life in Japan itself, and then um, the culture, the tradition uh, in Japan. But for some of you, maybe uh, in the South um, Asia region, or maybe even in America, you will be more interested in a career in Japan. So uh, there is a lot of plenty of company which, which are well known very famous in uh, in the world, like Toshiba, Toyota, Nintendo maybe for uh, the game, or Canon for uh, Uniqlo too, uh, for the animation and IT, or maybe uh, intelligent, artificial intelligent. So for some of you who want to pursue a career in Japan, there is a lot of uh, world famous company who can hire even, uh, what, um, how do you say, in your country and then move to Japan after that. So this is a good reason to learn, to start to learn your Japanese. And then I can see on the comment that there is some people who speak, spoke about animation. Yes, ja animation in the Japanese university. So exactly, some people around the world will know the Japanese culture through animation. You can see uh, um, behind me are the famous animation right now and so Hello Kitty, Pokemon over there. Um, we have Totoro. <laughs> Totoro just here, this is very cute. <laughs> so do you like animation? Do you want to study animation maybe? I can see yes, uh, in a Japanese university, Christopher wants to um, apply and uh, what is your favorite anime? Just tell me. I do love anime myself. <laughs> And in Japan, there is still the Kimetsu no Yaiba over there, <laughs> the Kimetsu no Yaiba fever. And I think you will probably see the you will see the movie uh, very soon in your country too. I think that in France, there is like uh, the movie will be on the theater very soon. So yes, animation. Animation is a great deal in Japan, and we hope that you will be able to pursue this career too. So uh, just to finish why students want to come to Japan, there is uh, some facts too, like this is the third um, economic um, largest country in the world. And this is also, uh, this is also 
sorry, it was French. This is also um, the ninth um, global happiness, something like that in, in, in the world. So yes, plenty of reason to learn uh, Japanese in Japan. So yes, let's dive in about uh, how school, why your school and what is the specificities of SNG. So SNG, Shinjuku Japanese Language Institute, or in Japanese, Shinjuku Nihongo Gakko, uh, has an history of 46 years. And we are, uh, we are um, also teaching with uh, a method, an unique method that we will uh, speak just after. But we, we, we are authorized by the MEX, the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology, and also by the Tokyo Metropolitan Government, which is why we, are, uh, we have a special, um, how do you say, status among Japanese language school, which permits you to get uh, a commercial pass available and some student discount as a uh, Japanese, uh, normal Japanese student, which is not the case with other um, schools. So this is a great point and we are also ISO certified, which means that we are uh, good, we have a good quality service for um, language school. <laughs> Yes, and the school is located in Tokyo, Shinjuku. Do you know Shinjuku? <laughs> so this is a five minutes walk from the Takada Nobaba station, just here. <laughs> and the station, the area of Takada Nobaba is very famous for the, this is a student area where the Waseda University, maybe you know about the Waseda University, is located. So student area equals uh, very cheap food, <laughs> very like a lot of places or you can join with your friends to uh, go on the cinema maybe or maybe in karaoke. Do you know karaoke? Do you love karaoke? I love karaoke. <laughs> so this is like an area very, how do you say, um, lively. This is a lively area just near Shinjuku and if uh, you want to know more about the accessibility you can see over there uh, the Yamanote line. Do you know like, the Yamanote line? This is like the so-called and main line in Japan, in Tokyo. Uh, so you have here Takana no Baba. And in five minutes uh, from there, you have Shinjuku, where there is a huge Godzilla, <laughs> and Ikebukuro. And if you prefer to go uh, shopping and you like fashion, it will be uh, 12 minutes from Shibuya and Harajuku. Uh, maybe you know Shibuya because there is like Hachiko. Do you know Hachiko just over there? <laughs> this is the dog waiting for his master. <laughs> so Hachiko over there. And if you go through the line over there in, tw in 20 minutes, about 20 minutes, you can go to Hakihabara and have your um, life in Japan with all the animation, the game centers and everything you ever loved. <laughs> so yes, very uh, great localization. And uh, not for, so far from the station. So, Takana no Baba, over there. <laughs> yes, and just uh, some uh, number about SNG. So, about our students, we are right now welcoming more than 500 uh, students, which are coming from more than 55 countries over the world. So, we have different language support like myself i will help the student in english and in french when they are in trouble but we have also uh, some staff speaking portuguese spain cantonese thai vietnamese italian and staff so do not worry about that and just be like contact us in your own language and we will reply to you if you have any um, question or concern so, yes, let's dive in into the specificities of SNG. So the specificities of the school is that we are uh, teaching Japanese with a unique method, which is called the ESOE method, which uh, use visualization <laughs> uh, to learn Japanese only for beginner level. But yes, the method will use card to learn the grammar. And this method is also used in Japan for the deaf. So this, the, the way that we explain Japanese grammar is visually, by visualization, I'm sorry for that, with visualization permits you to um, put 
complex sentences very easily in Japanese and will help you to just remember with your eye and not uh, just by writing Japanese. So this is also um, used in Japanese for Japanese people who are deaf. And, and so for the method itself, as this is a very unique uh, method, we will uh, sell, we will, you will have some um, other unique textbooks with the ESO method over there, the Jubako, which is the card to help you to understand the gamma patterns, uh, the textbook from beginner to uh, advanced level, and then we will dive in just after that, but the business Japanese textbook and then the EGU classes and we will just talk about uh, that after for the EGU uh, textbook to, for you to uh, learn about um, um, subjects in Japanese to go on higher education after that. Okay. And uh, at last but not the least, uh, we have the VLG, which is a material used online. Uh, we um, um, created this system with NTT um, communication, and this is a website where you can see some videos and we, you will have some exercises after and before your classes to review your Japanese. So you have classes and you will learn uh, grammar in school and after or before that you can also see some uh, video with the subtitles with your own language and learn about Japanese, dive in, review and practice your Japanese at home. Okay, so do you have any question about the VLG so far classes for Monday to Friday? Thank you <laughs> for staff to also helping you um, with your question on the chat. So, yes, let's continue. Our course structure is like for beginner and intermediate. We have two type of program, which are the general program here, <laughs> general program and intensive program. The general program is more suitable for people who want to work in Japan or maybe return to their country and work with a field uh, which is related to Japan and Japanese. So we will focus more on communication for you to be able to speak fluently after your studies but for the intensive program which is more suitable for people who want to go on higher education in Japan so for those of you who want to go on vocational schools university school or grad graduate schools it will be maybe more interesting to go with the intensive program uh, which is be maybe a little bit uh, fast fast paced and you will be able to learn more about ACU classes. So you have beginner and intermediate over there. And then after one year and maybe less for intensive program, you will have the advanced program. For the general one, one so here, <laughs> you will have to improve uh, the overall knowledge and proficiency. And uh, for those who want to go on higher education, you will have some AGU classes and more specificities about the test you will have and the interview you may have for your studies. Plus, for those who want to uh, have more, um, how do you say, specialized classes, we have also option classes, tourism, business, Japanese, business, Japanese and teacher training program. So as uh, the name are saying, the tourism, Japanese uh, classes will be for those who want to know more about the vocab voc vocabulary, I'm sorry, vocabulary, the manners and the expression concerning tourism and hotel in Japan. For those who want to go uh, and work in Japan after their studies, you will learn with the business Japanese class all the honorifics, the keigo. Do you want? Do you know the keigo? This is like completely um, new Japanese. You learn Japanese and you learn Japanese for work. This is like completely insane. But yes, we have a course for that, and you will learn the expressions, the um, keigo, the business manners, how to exchange cards things like that to be more at ease when you will be able to do the interview and write your resume in Japanese. And then you have the teacher training program, which will, um, how do you say, you will learn uh, how to teach Japanese using the SOMS out. 
if you are interested in uh, on doing that in your own country after returning. So yes, that was uh, for the overall program and structure course. Now let's dive in on the higher education and employment support after your studies. When you will finish and before a uh, little bit before, you can go on the higher education counseling, which is located just uh, next to the school and you will be able to prepare yourself for um, your application, your application in uh, schools uh, and um, your interview and also to write your resume. So here you will be able to uh, prepare um, your all the application documents and our counselors will help you to write them, to guard them and to give you just an overview about uh, your application, tell you if you are OK with that, if you can go and what you have to uh, maybe, um, how do you say, verify and change before application. Then you will also have free AGU classes. So I already said, uh, spoke about the AGU. The AGU class is um, uh, a class where you can learn about other subjects like mathematics, history and Japanese society, uh, which are the subje subjects you will have on the test and which is, um, how do you say, not mandatory, but some university will ask you to pass the AGU in order to apply for their schools. So the classes are free, you can join them and be prepared as uh, much as you want uh, to do the AGU and go on higher de education. And then finally, we have regular seminar for higher education. So uh, you will um, be prepared for everything you have to get done. Plus, sometimes we will also uh, invite some um, alumni students, so students who already, uh, how do you say, graduate from SNG and are working in Japan to just have a return on experiences and also some companies uh, for you to have more uh, details on how to apply, when to apply and if they are high or not. Okay, let's go. <laughs> if you have any question, please write it on the comment. We will uh, dive in soon in the QA session. So about scholarship, the school will offer a scholarship with, uh, for students with excellent grades and eagerness to study Japanese. So how you can apply, you have to uh, have a strong will to study Japanese, uh, not in this rate of 100% and excellent grade. So the scholarship is about 20,000 per month for six months and will be, uh, you will be able to apply for April and October, but after joining the school, not before. And then if you want to have more uh, opportunities about scholarship, we can help you to get external scholarship like the Kyoritsu International Foundation or maybe the JASA one over there. Okay. Yes. Okay, and the school will also, how do you say, offers you some activities, ex uh, extra activities for you to enjoy and experience your life in Japan. So at spring we will do Hanami, we will also do on the summer the Obon Festival, which is a dance festival on the street. This is very lively, very dynamic, very um, like, this is a good experience in Japan, you have to come uh, see that. If you already do the Obon um, Matsuri, just tell me on the comment. You will also experience some tea ceremonies and maybe uh, so you can go skying in the winter uh, with uh, other uh, students. And we also offer some events like um, like a homestay program in Shimane Prefecture, Hokkaido or maybe Okinawa for those who want to go there and interaction with Japanese um, primary students. So a lot of opportunities and possibilities for you to enjoy Japan as much as uh, you can. And uh, obviously now with uh, the COVID situation, there is like some uh, change with all we can do, but we will still maintain some interaction online and at school for you to have fun together. 
So yes, let's dive in. Maybe some of you want to apply very soon. You have a lot of questions about how to apply, when to apply and the course duration. So let's dive into that. The next, the next, um, the next session, sorry, the next session will be on October for the program in, uh, one, half, one year and a half. So uh, the deadline will be on June uh, 15 and uh, you can um, apply from now <laughs> to June over there. And for next year program, if you want to join this, the school for one or two year program, it will be from October to December this year. Then once you apply, the school will um, help you to gather all the documents and uh, so we will submit your application to the immigration and we will have a response, a reply from the immigration maybe uh, for October program from August to September. And for the up, uh, apply, April, I'm sorry, April course, it will be from February to March. So we will get your COE, which is the Certificate of Eligibility, a document which is mandatory for you to get your student visa. And after we get it, we will send it to you. And the admission will be on, uh, for October, it will be the 7th of October. And for April course, it will be the 7th of uh, April. I'm sorry, I can go, get through the slide over there good one okay so yes the start will be on 7th of october and here in april maybe the 7th maybe not but yes around like um the the begin the beginner of uh, april here and then if you want to uh, join the course on october you will hand after one year and a, and a half which will be on march 2023 and for the program in April, for one year course, it will be on March 2023. And for two years, obviously, it will be on March 2024. Okay. Here for the overall, for the application. And then for your life in Japan, during your application, we will be able to help you to get accommodation in Japan. This is maybe something like uh, is a very... Um, how do you say this is the most stressful thing maybe for your student to come uh, in Japan and to search for your accommodation so we will be able to help you and to get through that uh, we have some partners uh, which will be able to um, get you a student dormitory maybe or a shed house an apartment or maybe if you want experience life with a Japanese family with, uh, with a home stay so the mod obviously the fees will not be the same and the fees for your accommodation are not included in the school fee but we will help you to get the cheaper and the best accommodation uh, for you for this new experience in japan so finally let's dive in on the covid situation maybe there is a lot of you who wants to know what is the covid situation right now in japan when we will be able to come to japan and surf so the overall situation in Japan is like from uh, last year, the first uh, state of emergency was in April last year and we are currently in the third one, which began uh, last month, the 25, and we will hope that it will end at the end of this month on the 21st. Um, for the borders measures, uh, we, the, the, the borders are closed. The borders are closed from January 2021, um, and it has been closed last year too. There was a lot of students who are waiting uh, to get through Japan, but just know that last year from October to December, at, in fact, from October to January, uh, students who get the student visa uh, could come to Japan. So it means that from April last year, from April to uh, October, there was a border restriction and people couldn't come to Japan. Um, from July, some residents, so visa older people, could come to Japan from July to October. And by October 2020, some uh, students who get the certificate of eligibility, so it will be maybe your case uh, <laughs> for the next uh, term, some of you who had the certificate of eligibility could change and get the student visa issue, a new student visa issue from October to January. 
and they could come to Japan. So we had a lot of students uh, of last year who could come to Japan from like this uh, three months only. And then unfortunately, uh, from January 2021, there was a, a new um, uh, guidelines from the government and the borders closed again. And we are waiting, we are hoping that the um, the borders will open soon again, at least, I'm sorry, maybe not for the tourists uh, without a visa, but for the people who got the certificate of eligibility to get uh, the uh, new visa at the embassy. And during all this time, the school operation went as usual, which means that uh, for the first period of um, the student, the state of emergency, we close the, cl uh, the, the classes and we switch to online class a little bit, obviously, because we didn't know how the situation could be handled. But for now, for now, the school is operating uh, as usual. Sorry about that. <laughs> so for the application, yes, for the application uh, for the next term and uh, the one after, so October, and April term, you can apply normally uh, for your certificate of eligibility. The certificate of eligibility as always, I mean, most of the time, uh, had not be affected by the uh, overall situation. So we can get the certificate of eligibility, the immigration is issuing uh, the paper. And the valid period is for three months in general. But with the current situation, with the pandemic situation, some of you, some of you got, uh, and you will get, will, you will get probably your certificate of eligibility, and you will not be able to exchange it to get uh, your student visa issued. At the time, you will be able to extend the valid period of your COE. So do not be um, worried about that. Then, uh, where is uh, the problem over there is that when you get your COE, you have to wait and you have to um, bring the people at the immigration, the embassy, I'm sorry, the embassy at your country to get your student visa um, issued. But this is where uh, the immigration, the Japanese government um, did uh, like stop uh, the process at the current moment it is not possible to get uh, your student visa issued, which means that you can, you can get your COE, your certificate of eligibility, but you, can get, you cannot get through uh, all the process and get your uh, student visa right now. And we are waiting for the government to just like authorize again uh, the embassies to get the, to get the student visa issued. Then the school during the COVID uh, situation, we, as uh, I already told you, but I will repeat myself, obviously the normal face-to-face -face classes are available at SNG. Uh, so students must wear masks and check the body temperature, temperature at the school entrance. Uh, there is a cleaning and uh, sanitiz sanitization, I'm sorry, disinfecting over there <laughs> of the classroom and public spaces and uh, you we will ask for your cooperation to just do a little bit of cleaning after the classes to get sure that everything is okay uh, if the situation in tokyo if the situation in tokyo or in japan is getting a um, um, little bit worse obviously we will switch to online classes, even if we have a case uh, in the area. And some students obviously can also join uh, the classes, the online classes. Obviously, if you are stuck in your country and you cannot come to Japan right now, you can still uh, begin your studies from abroad and go with the online classes, obviously, if you want. Is that okay with that? I think we will have a lot of more uh, of a question about the COVID situation. So yes, we will uh, take the time to reply to them at the end of uh, the presentation with the q &A, which is right now, in fact. <laughs> so we will take a little break uh, just to gather all the questions and we will uh, went through that. Just wait a little bit. Thank you very much.
Hi everyone. Okay, Hi everyone. so we have Pantosan just here who just joined us uh, for the Q&A session. Thank you, Pantosan, <laughs> for coming with us. Nice to meet you. Hi. I'm from Hong Kong. Nice to meet you. Okay, thank you very much. So yes, let's dive in with the first question. Yes. If we can. No. <laughs> thank you for all the questions. Okay, great. So yes, first question, Pantosan. Okay. Uh, with continued education in mind, I was supposed to start in April for two years, okay. but was unable to gain entry into the country. Do I have to wait until next year to start? Good question. Okay, so for a question, I think the, uh, the person is asking for the uh, course for next year, right? So we had the course uh, from April and it lasts for two years. So. Um, of course, according to the situation in Tokyo, it's quite unknown that you know, the COVID-19 will still be, uh, uh, I mean, there's, there's any virus next year, so we don't know about the situation next year. But just take uh, an example last year for your reference. So according to the situation last year, some students, they cannot enter Japan uh, because even though they have the uh, COE, mm -hmm. so then they can choose to wait yes. or they can choose to attend our online classes. Yep. But according to the situation last year, so uh, basically the COE is waited for three months. Mm. But according to the rules of the Education Bureau, so they can extend the COE for three more months. Mm. So we will see uh, what will happen uh, next year and we will um, keep post about the situation of Tokyo. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And yes, and I should add that uh, you don't have to wait until the next year. You can us, uh, either start the online classes or you can just w join Japan whenever you, want, you can. Uh, so it means that you don't have to wait for another year, but you can just wait until uh, the situation gets better. And when it gets better, you can come to Japan as soon as you can. So yes, not the whole year, a little bit of passion maybe, but uh, it will be able to, for you to come uh, as uh, soon as you can. Perfect, I think we, uh, we can go through the next question. So how much is the school fee to study in a master program in Japan? So master program in Japan. So for the master program in Japan, so we have two types of programs. One is the uh, proper school, and one is a private school. Okay. So uh, just um, give you some like rough data for your reference. So for a public school, for one year study is around like six hundred thousand Japanese mm -hmm. for one year. Okay. And for private schools, around like seven hundred thousand Japanese Japanese yen for one year. So, so you can just calculate it and times four years, so you can get total uh, tuition fee mm -hmm. for the whole period. Hmm. Okay, perfect. So yes, it is uh, different from um, public school and um, private school, right? And just one more information that because like yeah. every every university or every vocation school, they have different requirements. Okay. For applicants, like the tuition fee, so it's better to uh, contact the university directly about the uh, tuition fee. Okay, so it depends on the university yeah. you want to apply, obviously, but uh, yeah, okay. okay, thank you for the facts. Let's dive in in the next question. Thank you for your question again. Uh, does the school offer online classes? So we have online classes. So uh, except for some students, they are still waiting uh, to enter Japan. So we have uh, we are offering the uh, online classes for them, so they can join the classes online. So we are using Google Meet for the online classes. So the uh, class schedule is exactly the same uh, as the classes in Japan. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Pantosan. Next question. I heard that if you take GLPT in December, you can't go to a voc vocational school in Japan in April. Is this true? Oh, this is a really good question. Mm. So, uh, because according to different uh, requirements of vocational schools, uh, like some vocational schools, they, they accept students that they uh, top up uh, the GLPT in late December, but some schools they, they don't have this requirement. So we depend on different vocation schools. So it's better to um, contact the vocation schools for more details about that. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Pantosan. Yeah. Next question: Will the intensive beginners course also cover or how to read and write hiragana, katakana, and kanji? Great question. Thank you very much. 
Yes, of course, our intensive programs also cover the content of how to read and write hiragana, karagana, of course, kanjis. So, um, of course, because the terms, before the term starts, so you uh, you have to like join the placement test, mm -hmm. and the teachers will tell you about your suitable class level. If you start from zero, that, of course, our intense programs will also cover those like basic knowledges of the Japanese, like uh, characters, kanjis, yeah. hiragana, karagana. So, don't worry about it, about this part. Okay, once again, complete beginner, uh, welcome. You can learn Japanese from the start, which is iragana katakana, even uh, on the intensive program. Do not worry. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, ne next question. Will the school introduce part-time job for students? Great question. Thank you very much. So, of course, in uh, our school, we have a, like, if you're using, like, like, like Google Classroom, and then we will announce the part-time job mission, like, regularly, like, uh, like convenience stores or restaurants. Of course, we have a like um, a board uh, which uh, there's some like uh, seminars, like part time mm -hmm. seminars, so you can join some of them and okay. look for more information about how to find a, a part time job in, in Japan. Okay, perfect. Yes. So we can help students to uh, uh, with some introduction for a part-time job and also if you have a staff member who can understand your language, maybe you can help for help to, you can ask for help uh, to write your resume and stuff. Sure. Okay, so how to extend my COE if it's expiring soon? Okay, so regarding the COE waiting period, so uh, if it's expiring soon, of course, uh, you want to ex apply for the extension, so you have to contact our school and then just take the example last year. So some students that uh, they, their COE will be expired soon. So for our side, we will like prepare something like an expression, explanation letter to show that up because of COVID-19, so I cannot enter Japan. So uh, uh, getting the, the, uh, the permission from the school. So my COE uh, can be postponed for a few months. Mm. So if you find that your COE will be expired soon, so please contact us and we will prepare uh, the brief documents for you. Thanks. Yes, exactly. So if your COE date, so the issue date uh, is uh, more than three months after, just please contact us and we will um, issue all the documents you will need to get your student visa uh, issued at the embassy. Do not worry. Okay, can I apply even if I have zero knowledge of Japanese? Yes, don't worry, even though <laughs> you don't know any, like, Japanese, you can still apply for our long-term course, so don't worry about that. So we, we have our uh, professional Japanese teachers, so you can start to learn Japanese from zero, you can learn how to write hinagana, katakana, and kanji, so don't worry about this part. Okay, I should, uh, I should also add that uh, if you are a zero knowledge of Japanese, just please be careful about your country, because for the immigration, there will be some uh, requirements uh, depending on the country and some of you must um, prove of uh, an history of learning Japanese at least 150 um, 50 hours of learning Japanese or the GLPT N5. So just ask us on the uh, by mail which, uh, which is the project you have, which is your country, and we will reply to you uh, about what is the requirements uh, for you to get your uh, COE issued. Yes, I'm sorry for that. I, I made this point. So for some uh, nationalities, it will, the requirements of Japanese identity really depends. So please uh, contact us about for more, uh, for more details. Okay, next one. Is it possible to cover all the classes and five level to N2 at least within one year or less through online class? possible to cover all classes within one year or less through online classes. So we have the online classes throughout the year, so um, students can start from the beginner level. So uh, basically for all the classes, like if you start from zero from the beginner level and you uh, learn the class for one year, so you, you achieve uh, around like approximately JLPT <laughs> and two level. And for some classes like advanced classes, so it really depends on the number of students so uh, we have to base on the current situation in order to decide whether we can start some uh, uh, classes of some certain uh, levels. 
Okay, thank you very much. So yes, it's possible to cover uh, the um, the program from uh, N5 to N2. Okay, next question. Are there hash limits to apply? So uh, we don't have any age limitations uh, for our long-term course. So of course, for, uh, for the age, uh, it really depends on different uh, nationalities because according to the immigration rule, for some countries, they may have the immigration bureau re may request you to uh, show the uh, Japanese language uh, learning group for some nationalities, so you can uh, contact us for more details. Okay, thank you very much. Next question. Is the TOEFL necessary to enter Japanese university? Oh, this is a very good question. Yes, so, it is. <laughs> uh, uh, generally, uh, it really depends on different uh, universities or vocational schools. Uh, for some schools, uh, for some universities, they require uh, applicants to uh, show a like TOEFL certificates. But for some universities, they don't uh, require you to present uh, those like TOEFL proofs. Mm. So I mean, it's better to uh, contact to the related universities for more details. Hey, let's dive in with the next question. Does your school assist with direct university application? Good question. Yes, yes, very good question because we, uh, SNG, we have a higher education uh, counseling team. Exactly. We have our professional uh, team, so which provide different kinds of support uh, if you want to pursue a higher education in Japan. So, uh, like, uh, for example, uh, what kind of documents I have to prepare and which university is like um, is famous or if I want to learn animation, so which university is good. So you can, if you have those questions or inquiries, so please feel free to contact uh, with our higher education uh, counseling team for more details. Yes, we will be uh, glad to uh, help you with uh, the process to go on higher education in Japan. So I can see on Facebook there is some uh, some question. May I know how to apply a degree in Japan? So I think we already answered this one. Maybe we can scroll uh, at the end of the comments. Mm -hmm. We already responded to this one and this one. So we will uh, get through that. Next question maybe from the Q&A. How much... I'm sorry for that. How much are the monthly cost of living in Tokyo? This is a great one. I think you are yes, most I like interesting in that. Yes. yes. It, it really depends on your like preference or living style. Just okay. Well, let me give you uh, an example. So if you yeah. live, if you stay in a like student dormitory or in a hostel, so the monthly rent is around like uh, fifty thousand Japanese yen. Okay. And for the first month, you have to pay for the initial fee, like the uh, deposit, something like that. Okay. And after that, you have to like pay for the like um, uh, uh what is it? the electricity fee, mm -hmm. different kinds of fees you have to pay. And apart from that, you have to uh like of course you have to uh go dining outside and also pay for tuition fee. So if I roughly calculate it. Uh, like yearly speaking, the one, the yearly, I mean the uh, course will be around like two, two point five million Japanese yen to like three million Japanese yen. Okay, two point five million Japanese yen yes. for the minimum, right? Yes, yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah, life in Tokyo is very expensive, but we can uh, also do a part-time job and stuff like that. Uh, next question, may I work with a student visa? <laughs> yeah, it's also a good question. I know some of you really want to like work in, in Japan. Yes. So of course, if you have a student visa, you can work in Japan. But first of all, before finding a job in Japan, you have to apply for a part-time like uh, work permit. Yep. You have to first of all apply for this permit and you can find a part-time job. And after that, uh, regarding the working hours, uh, you can only work at maximum 28 hours uh, uh, per week. And for our school, SNG, we recommend that for the first three months, uh, it's better to focus on learning of Japanese rather than uh, working part-time in Japan. 
Okay, so yes, you, as a pantologist, say you can walk uh, for 28 hours a week. This is a limit with your student visa. And then uh, the school does not recommend you to start uh, to have a part-time job when you come to Japan, but just wait a little bit, like one time, three months, uh, to get used to your new life in Japan, to get used with your homework and stuff, and then apply for a part-time job. And it will be better for your Japanese too, I think. Okay, next one. Any short-term courses offered by your school in Shinjuku starting January next year, maybe? Good question. Yes, we have the short-term courses uh, for the for the year, so um, you can start to learn Japanese like from we have the admission from January, um, April, July, and December. So if for those students you who have a valid uh, tourist visa, so they can start to learn in our school <laughs> uh, for short term for three months. Yeah. But due to the COVID nineteen situation, so. Um, uh, new entries or foreigners are not allowed mm. uh, in Japan. So uh, after COVID-19, you can apply for our short-term courses, of course. Okay, perfect. And I just uh, remember that if you want to go on online classes for three years, just please contact us. Uh, we will uh, do whatever you can for you to start your Japanese learning as soon as you can. Uh, thank you very much, Alice, for this question on Facebook. Uh, so next. Next one, when will stud student visa, I'm sorry, when will student visa orders be able to enter Japan? So, yes. Yeah. Well, very good question. So, uh, currently we don't have any ideas when the students can enter Japan. <laughs> and because of the border measures, so all new entries or foreigners uh, are not allowed to enter Japan currently. So uh, we are still waiting for the yeah. uh, news and updates from Japanese government yes. about when uh, the foreigners can uh, be allowed in mm. Japan. So once we have the uh, latest news, of course, outside we'll share to you. Yes, we will keep you informed. Yeah. Keep Thank informed. you very much for this question. Yes. Next question, are classes given face-to-face -face or online? So much. yes. <laughs> yes, yes, our classes are given face-to-face. Uh, both face to face or online uh, and online yes for our current students <laughs> so uh, our school operates as usual so students uh, go to our school every day <laughs> and we have face to face classes and for students who are staying overseas so they can choose to uh, join our classes online yes exactly thank you very much okay so which document are necessary to apply for SNG. This is a good one, yes. How to apply? Yes, uh, regarding the application, uh, uh, the, the, the sequence, okay, the, the sequence. So first of all, you have to like contact us and just give us the basic information. And after screening, we'll send you the, an email to uh, tell you what kind of documents you have to, uh, to prepare. So just like um, to make it simple, for, for example, you have to provide your academic qualifications documents, like your certificate of graduations, uh, your um, examines, uh, your examination transcripts, and after that, your financial guarantee has to provide uh, like annual income copies, uh, the bank transaction record, yep. and after that, uh, other documents like passport copies. So for more details, you can also access to our website. Yep. So we have a full list or what kind of documents you have to prepare during the application stage. Okay, so the most important one are the um, the diplomas, the the financial documents, and for all the details, please go to our homepage or just send us a, an email and we will give you the complete list. Okay, so I just uh, do a pause with the Q&A session. We got uh, some question in YouTube from Samantha Crystal. Thank you for joining us again. <laughs> do I need to study in a Japanese university to obtain a student visa? Or can I get it if I just want to study in Jap uh, Japanese? So this is a good one. And uh, yes, Pantosa, maybe you can uh, tell us, but uh, you can uh, apply to SNG to learn Japanese and get a student visa, right? So, yes, <laughs> yes. Um, and we also have a question from 
Chiara, Chiara. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry if I uh, say that uh, not very well. I know that you come from Italy. <laughs> I had a <laughs> mail from you and thank you. Thank you for joining us uh, at this hour. <laughs> and your question is, can anyone enter optional classes or you need to have at least intermediate level? And the answer of the question is yes, you have at least to uh, go through the intermediate level to get to optional classes. Uh, for example, business Japanese, maybe uh, Pantosan is um, an alumni of SNG oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and he studied Japanese uh, at the school, so maybe he can explain more about that. But uh, sh sure, yes, yes, Pantosan. So Dozo. Like I had prepared that we have three optional classes, tourism business, business Japanese and the training. And so I attend the tourism business and business classes when I was a student. So for the business classes, so of course you have to attend a certain level of Japanese ability. So for example, you have to attain, uh, you have to achieve intermediate one Japanese level in order to uh, apply for the optional class because uh, you have to uh, achieve a certain level of Japanese in order to apply for those optional classes. Yes. And for my advice, uh, I think these optional classes are very good for for you if you want to like have more practice. You want to find a job in Japan or you want to practice more cable the on a reflex and uh, so please if you achieve certain level of Japanese achieve up to our intermediate level please uh, apply for our optional classes highly recommended okay thank you very much so yes a certain level of Japanese is uh, uh, required for the school uh, for this uh, level can uh, we get through the uh, comments on Facebook can we scroll a little bit I think there are an interesting question just uh, before uh, the survey which was from Guy 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 <laughs> I'm sorry if I pronounce that um, not uh, in the right way but this is a very good question is there a limited number of slots of, for applicants to enter uh, no there is uh, not uh, there is no um, number of slots you can apply uh, the at SNG, we don't have any limited number for you to apply so please you are welcome so let's get through the Q&A. We receive a lot of uh, other questions. Uh, do we have to be vaccinated in order to enter Japan? Good one. Yeah, that's a very good question. So uh, now currently, the Japanese government is trying to like start the vaccination program from the like uh, the elderly group first. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, uh, according to the latest information, there are no like news or updates that you have to get vaccinated before enter Japan. So that's the latest status. Of course, if there are any changes, we also let you know. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, okay. So if my COE certificate of eligibility has expired, what should I do? Do I have to apply again? So uh, just take the case last year as an example. <laughs> so usually, just we have what we had mentioned. The uh, waiting period is three months. Usually, generally speaking. However, due to the uh, COVID-19 situation, so uh, the Inuxium Zero uh, allows uh, some, uh, the waiting period of COE can be extended, can be further extended for uh, three more months. So uh, according to the situation last year, so you don't have to uh, reapply for your COE. And for the case this year, so um, it seems that the waiting period of COE can be further extended. So we are still waiting for more guidelines and news from the from the immigration bureau. So um, once we have the latest updates from the immigration bureau, of course we will also let you know. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, a question about October session. If I apply for the October session, may I enter Japan? Yeah, this is also a very good question. So uh, I think lots of students have this concern as well. So uh, we are still recruiting uh new students for the coming october 2021 admission and coe application still uh we are still doing working on it and but for whether they can enter japan before the term starts in october mm. so they, uh we still have uh, we don't have like a concrete answer regarding this question because uh the covid 19 situation in tokyo is really fluctuating mm. in recent months yep so um Especially, just uh, Mary has mentioned that uh, the state of emergency is still 
uh, uh, like effective in, in this month. So it's hard to say whether uh, applicants can enter Japan before the term starts. Okay, thank you very much. So I can see that there is five minutes left now mm -hmm. and the next question will be the last. Thank you for all the questions you sent on uh, the chat room on Facebook and YouTube. If you have a question that not been answered, please send us an email. You will have the mail uh, written at the end of the presentation. Thank you for all of us. Then next and last question. What if uh, what happens if I cannot enter Japan? So yes, we've been talking about that, but yes. Um, so if you cannot enter Japan because of COVID-19, so you can have two options. The first option is just keep waiting uh, in your home country for the uh, uh, for the removal of border control by the Japanese government. And for the second option, so we have the online lessons for those students who are still staying overseas. So uh, if you are interested in the online lessons, so you can um, contact us and the time schedule is exactly the same uh, with that in Japan. So yes, two options. You can either start your program and have online classes or either wait for uh, you to enter Japan um, as well. And this was the end. This is perfect. <laughs> um, so yes, thank you very much everyone for joining us today. I can see there are some students who came from uh, the US and it is very late right now. So thank you very much. Thank you for those who came from Europe. And I can see there is a uh, student who already contacted us. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your participation today. If uh, there was some um, question not answered, please send your an email over there <laughs> this is jizen artmark sng.ac.gp over there and we will be able to uh, reply to you you can send your mail in english in french in uh, cantonese <laughs> in chinese please just send us your email and we will be able to uh, reply to each and uh, for those who uh, have the time just one minute uh, will be enough to uh, maybe fill out the survey about this presentation if you like it and if you want more um, more uh, get informed about the situation in japan we will send you some uh, mail about uh, the information so please complete uh, the survey it will take only one minute uh, thank you thank you again you will oh you will also <laughs> you will also have a free content uh, to learn uh, the, uh, more about the Ezui method freely. I'm sorry, this is uh, it was an important uh, news to to do to to say to you. Yes. Yeah, so uh, thank you. Yes. Don't forget to copy the survey. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. The survey, the mail over there, and we are waiting for us in Japan. We know uh, that most of you are waiting, and we are also waiting for you to come. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you for joining us. Thank you, Nico Maximilian. Thank you. <laughs> Stay thank safe. You. Arigato gozaimashita, minasan. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. See you soon in Japan. Sayonara. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Arigato gozaimashita. Thank you. Bye bye. Hi. Thank you.